G'day guys, how you going? Fucking here, back with a new video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best FPS you can out of Armour 3. So first things first, you want to go to your start menu, type in run, and it'll bring up the run program, okay? What you want to do is type in WMIC and hit OK. And when you do that, this will pop up, okay? Windows command prompt. So what you need to do then is you need to type in CPU, get, number of cores, number of logical processors, format, list. Okay, hit enter, and that will show you the number of cores, number of logical processors. If these two numbers here match up, you don't have a hyper-threaded CPU. If they don't match up, you do have a hyper-threaded CPU. Pretty simple. All right, so you can close that down then. Next thing you want to do is go File Explorer, quickly go to your this PC, go Properties, and it'll show you what kind of uh, processor you have and how much RAM you've got. Okay, both of them are going to be important if you are unsure of which processor you have. Next thing is go to Armor 3 Properties and set Launch Options. So your CPU count is uh, the amount of cores you've got in your processor. For Intel, so for Intel CPU, Hyperthread CPU such as a quad core, you'll apply this. So CPU count uh, eight. Uh, these are all hyperthreaded, sorry. So if you've got a six core, you need 12. If you've got eight core, then you need 16. For non-threaded CPU, just like the mine, i5-6600K, CPU count is four. For a dual core Intel CPU, it'll be two. AMD is a little bit different. They don't have hyperthreading at all. So you've got to be actually really careful with how you can do it. You can make your uh, computer crash. So just, you know, take your time figuring out which one you've got. Um, so AMD dual core with 4 gig RAM will be 2. Quad core, 4 gig RAM, 4. 6 core, 4 gig RAM, 6. 8 core, 4 gig RAM, 8. Okay? Just double check that. Your memory is uh, the next important thing. So max memory. Uh, equals 6,145. As you saw before, I've got 8 gig of uh, RAM, but I don't want to devote all of my RAM to uh, armor because I'm doing recording and all that sort of stuff too. So I've made it 6,145. Uh, I wouldn't advise putting it up much higher than that anyway if you've only got 8 gig of RAM. If you've got more than 8 gig of RAM, then put it up to 8 gig. You wouldn't need any more than that. Uh, the next priority is high. It'll just make it um, you computer prioritize the Armour 3 process more, uh, more so than it would have been. And no splash is that you won't have any splash screens when you start up the game. Click OK, close that down, and then you can click play. So once the this pops up, you can go parameters. Uh, you'll see all your stuff in here, your launch parameters there. Go advanced, advanced again. And CPU count might be on one, mine was on one, I had to change it to four. And malloc, you want to click enable that. And TBB4 malloc has been the most, the best FPS increase for me. Okay. Max memory, I've made it the same as the other one, 6145. Max VRAM is your graphics card memory. So I've got a four gig graphics card, GTX 980, and I've put it at 3073 because I'm doing recording and all that sort of stuff. So I don't want to completely devote my whole graphics card to um, three. And not only that, I wouldn't recommend voting the maximum amount to any, um, to any anything. So once that's done, click play. All right, guys. So welcome back. Uh, I'm now in game, and this is my uh, this is my game at the moment. I'm currently getting 62 FPS, 61. So it is quite a decent uh, FPS increase. So my settings are sampling 100%, texture ultra, objects very high, terrain high, shadow disabled, particles low, cloud low, and pip um, picture in picture quality disabled. The reason that these ones are also low and disabled is because they don't really have a great impact on the game, and they do they're quite resource intensive. My overall and object are about midway, which is kind of standard because if it's any lower than that, you can't see shit. Um, I just had to kill somebody before down there, so, anyway, 
the next thing is configuration video. So my HDR low, low and disabled. I found that they haven't been a massive increase in my FPS and they have been a little bit um, taxing on my FPS. And there's a helicopter over there too, by the way. So the next thing is display. Vertical sync is enabled. Um, that's about all that you need to have in there. Just make sure that your resolution is around about your native resolution. Uh, I've disabled bloom, radial blur, rotation blur, and out the field. Sharpen filters on 54. I found that they've been more so annoying and they kind of do make your FPS drop quite a bit if you make any sudden turns. Um, there are helicopters everywhere here. I'll jump in that one and show you the FPS in a little bit. Um, the next thing is uh, ambient ocul occlusion is disabled, caustics is enabled, um, and also these here, brightness, contrast, saturation, doesn't make a big difference. FSAA, um, full screen anti-aliasing, smoothens edges of, of, of objects. Sorry, I just heard something. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, target down. <laughs> uh, next thing is... I can't believe that. So FSAA, eight times. ATOC, all trees and grass. Uh, FXAA is on ultra. This is kind of... This will be de uh, varying depending on your system. So you just have to mess around with that. And um, anisotropic filtering quality of textured surfaces at shallow angles and in the distance standard. So you can make that what you want. Mine's just on standard. Uh, I can put it on ultra if you want and it... Okay guys, so as it turns out, uh, changing that setting while recording will make my screen... Uh, the recording come out black. The game was fine, it was just that the recording was black. So I've had to add this extra bit of footage in. Um, a couple of other things that I've noticed have really helped is um, changing from a SATA drive to a solid state drive. I've got another video up on that. It's a Counter-Strike tutorial, but it, the same thing uh, for armor. And uh, yeah, that has made it so that I don't get that strange like lag sometimes when you zoom in with a gun. So that sort of fixed that problem. Um, I'll show you how to go around in a helicopter, but uh, as it turns out, the helicopter that I find here is not working. Uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, Counter-Strike video, and I will also uh, leave all that information that I've typed up uh, in the description. So if this video has helped you guys, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Peace!